Hey everybody in Blitz, welcome back to more Convoy. Convoy, so opening map, <laughs> let's go back to the camp. I totally, totally derped this up last time. If we click on our guy, then we can install this stuff. So we can throw on the, the EMP mine layer on the back. I don't know why I didn't, I didn't remember that. Just totally derped it up. And we can throw other junk over here. So we can confirm that. We can also do other things. Mine guard maxed. We have all that stuff maxed. We can put more armor and more health into it too. And that takes like a little bit of scrap. So we have 460. Always a good idea just to kind of upgrade a little bit. We can return and go back to our other guys. Like you. And then we can put on the shield on there. Check that out. Haha, -ha, perfect. I'm going to leave it like that. We're going to return... We're going to save him with that shield. And then this guy, we're going to up his health a little bit. And we're going to up his armor and his his handling and speed. And my, no, we don't go back. Oops. Hey, there you go. Go back. All right. 214 money. We have enough fuel. We are playing on easy, so easy McCheesy. It is what it is. We'll just we'll have fun. That's kind of what I like to do in new games anyway, is just enjoy them as I can. I don't care about the mine guard. I might. <laughs> Who knows? So let's break up camp. Uh, we're going to return and break up camp. And we're going to continue going. We're going to rock and roll. We're going to go find these uh, stem parts or whatever the junk they're called. Stem, self-sealing stem bolts. Yeah, those things. And that is 223 kilometers to the other direction. Not worried about fuel. Uh-oh. Hi. As you're driving along the highway, you pick up a signal on your transmitter. It sounds like a rowdy bunch of privateers. Hmm. Pursue the privateers whilst trying to stay out of sight. Track the privateers and engage them. They could be dangerous. Try to avoid the signal. I'm going to track them. No. I'm going to pursue them and stay out of sight. Yes. Privateers notice your convoy and move in to engage. You hear a gruff voice exclaim, Are you ready for me? Come on. And humor the hook. Oh, Captain. Let's roll. I can do this. Alright. What do we get? Bad guy right here. No. Well, hey, hit him. Okay, thank you. We have some mines too. We have the, the helium heavy bot. Should I? I'm gonna kind of protect my back flank a little bit. And then we can attack this guy. Okay, maybe not. Let's get up a little ways. Hi, hello there. Let's do one of these right in your face. Oh, that you missed. Now it's gonna hit me. I don't wanna get, oh, I stunned him. Okay, You're good. Now let's hit this guy. Let's take you out. Because you're on your alone over there. We're going to hit you with the healing bot. Good, we're both in range. Very good. Want to get up a little bit. Don't want him to get right behind me. Heal bot. Oh, I, I need to get you over, don't I? Take him out! Oh, let's trap this guy. Let's trap him over there with that mine. Okay, there is a, a regular mine. No, he moved. Okay. And we can hit you with another mine. Missed it. We got this guy on the flank. I don't like being directly behind him because their parts do hurt him. There he goes. Down he goes. Okay, we're, we're good on this side. Excellent. Stay up in the way. Good job. And it should work. We should be fine. Hello. Hey, how come you can shoot over that? Nice. There he goes. He is down. We did that. We did pretty good on that. We did good. You find some loot in the wrecks. Additionally, you seem to find a remarkable number of clocks. You decide to let them be. <laughs> Captain Hook. Clock in his... Get it? The guy has uh, lost his hand in the crocodile. He'll be quiet now. Open map. Let's go. Ha! <sighs> we had that camp we could go back to. We didn't really lose much of the hit points. So we're just going to continue on. Here's a little town. There's an random event down here. Should we try that out? We're still a long way from the the stem bolts. Yeah, this will be fine. You notice a smoking privateer vehicle in the distance. It is an emergency. It is emitting an emergency v v signal. Investigate. As you approach the privateer, you see him look relieved. Hello there, matey. I seem to be down on my luck. I don't suppose you could help me out. I'll make it worth your while. What? Yeah, yeah. Wait. Hmm. Repair, shoot the privateer, scrap his vehicle, let him be, and continue your day. This this is what reminds me of Firefly. Because it's like, yeah, Malcolm, he could be a nice guy. 
he could he could do all right. He's got he could help out repair the vehicle, and then shoot the guy and then steal the vehicle altogether. Uh, let's let's be nice and repair it. Thanks a lot. This is the third time a vehicle's broken down. I was busy looking for a fabled treasure, you see, using this here treasure map I got. Considering my luck, though. I think it's cursed. Seeing I owe you reward, how about you take it off my hands? <laughs> you better, ooh, <laughs> see, we'll kill you and take your vehicle. That's actually a decent idea. We'll take the treasure map. Hope the master treats you better. Best of luck, matey, Arr. Okay, Let, wait, now that's a side quest. Let's check out the, let's, let's do, let's go get the stem bolts and then we'll go do the side quest. We're gonna go around, let's drive on the road because it's a little faster. And we're going to cut through this mountain pass. Uh-oh. You hear the voice bellowing from your radio. We're going to cut you, open your heads, and eat your brains. Hmm. Several rider vehicles move in to engage you. Prepare for a fight. Yes. We're going to do it. I don't want my brain eaten. How about that? That's not quite what I wanted to do. Missed. This guy is... They're gonna come in behind me. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, I, I've got a little barrier going on. Let's pop in you on here. We're gonna focus on this guy first. There's, there's a little sucky bot sucking his brains up. Good. Oh, you jerk. Bring you forward. Now that guy blows up. Let's bring you over. Good job. And we'll let the we'll let the little bot take care of it. Oh, to some extent. Let's just take him out. There we go. That guy's done. We're gonna fall. We're gonna fall back a little bit in the future here. Okay. Now we're gonna fall back. Drop a mine here. Oh, missed it. I should have blocked him in. I should have circled around and blocked him in. I'm bad with mines. And perfect. We did it. Give me some parts, give me some scrap, give me some loot. Yes! Loot. I love loot. I love games where you can loot things. That's my favorite thing in games. Oh, if there's a if there's a box you can break? Mmm, you better believe I'm breaking that box. Alright, stem bolts, let's do this. You arrive at the locations Eiffel Incorporated is seeking to obtain. Ah, it appears to be a regular stretch of desert. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Investigate the area. You discover that this particular stretch of desert houses a hidden privateer base. That certainly explains why Eiffel's Incorporated didn't simply sweet talk their way into obtaining the deed to this land, if there is even such a thing. Oh, what do we do? Attack, radio, or hide and wait? Hmm. What's uh, radio? Hi, we're here to kill you. Despite your attempts, the privateers don't seem to be interested. Having tried has having tried has given away your position though and several vehicles are approaching your position now ready the weapons okay spread out spread out let's see okay we got one guy down here let's pop in the brain sucker on him bring you guys over here whoa what is that thing let's take you out ASAP uh, yeah we're gonna take out this guy the best we can these are that's like a big missile ship let's do this right here EMP, stunned one, good. Yes, sir. Okay, the sucky thing is sucking his brains out. Take out the missile ship. Oh, it didn't quite do it. Let's take this guy out, minimize the damage. Excellent. Look at that, we're nailing him. Okay, this guy's done. Let's fall back. Take him out. Good, we got a mine. Let's pop in. Ooh, I got an idea. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> I, I I gotta figure out these mines eventually. We'll get it. I want to force you down. I really do. And then we're gonna use... Ooh, I know what I could do. Let's pop in you. We're gonna drop you away. We're gonna bring you up and over. So you blow up away from everyone. Perfect. We're doing it. There we go. Shield down. No. And he blew up right in front of our guy. All right. You have successfully defeated all the privateers and destroyed their entire base. You find the loot in the wrecks. Wow. 
There doesn't seem to be any form of official deed to this place, but you doubt there ever was one ever to begin with. With the entire base in ruins, it is unlikely any more privateers will return in the near future. You should return to Eiffel's Incorporated to report your success. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty easy. That wasn't bad at all. I still don't know what this does. That might be total parts. Ooh, let's see what else we can do. Is there anything close by? 61 kilometers, 265, uh, 260, 268. We can do the compression coil. How close is this? 142 down. Oh, uh, that's too far away. And the nearest camp is... We don't really need to go to the nearest camp right now. We're still all right. Let's do the hyperdrive state. Nope, the flux. Nope, the compression coil. Because this is pretty close yet. We'll just jump on the road and drive our way to safety. Yeah, this is really close. Great. Hi. You arrive in Shanty Sands, a small agricultural community. Head into town. You leave your convoy behind and head towards the town by foot. At the entrance to the town, you are stopped by a man who identifies himself as Steve. Hi, Steve. Uh, ask about Shanty Sands. You're standing in it. Great. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know what I expected there. Uh, ask about the former... Oh, that guy. He arrived at Shanty Sands not too long ago, claiming he wanted a quiet place to live. He spends most of his days indoors, but he keeps out of trouble so we don't mind. You can find him over there. Steve points to the house some distance away. Head over. You head over to the house of the former Torvac Corporation employee. Knock on the door. You knock on the door for quite some time. No avail. Looks like nobody's home. Enter the house. You enter obvious signs of a struggle. Entire place has been ransacked. Nobody appears to be present right now. Search it. Yeah, as you prepare to trash the house, you suddenly find yourself eye to eye with a blood-covered man. He seems to have several cybernetic implants. He looks surprised at your presence and makes a run for him. Chase him. The man seems to run unnaturally fast, causing you to lose ground. You chase him out of town where you see him get into a Torvac vehicle and speed away. You contact your convoy to trace the signal of the vehicle and pick you up as soon as possible. That man surely knows more of a compression coil. Oh yeah, we're gonna get him in the mountains. Head him off at the pass. Yeah, buddy. You arrive at the presumed location of the Torvac Corporation squad. The signs of traveling a group vehicles is obvious, but you must be on the right track. Uh, scan the general area. You scan the area and spot a cluster of vehicles not too far from here. They've either set up camp or are lurking in ambush. Head over to their location and attempt to sneak. Yes. Ooh, that could be bad. Yeah, we're going to do that. Attempt to sneak up to their location and turn their ambush around. Turns out the Torvac vehicles are indeed camped. You manage to catch them by surprise and gain a significant advantage in the following combat. I don't know what that means, but that's amazing. Spread out a little bit. Okay. Good. Let's trap this guy. I'm gonna put you up there. Let's do this. Okay, we're trapping him over. I wanna trap him on the side. Oh, we can trap this one guy, maybe. Nope. This is interesting, the whole positioning thing in this game. Oh, I missed him totally. Get up here! I should have sent I should have sent this bigger guy over. There we go, he's down. Perfect. Chase him down! Chase him down! Whoa, 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 get in the middle, get in the middle. Good, we win. Mission complete. Ha, you find the loot. You find some loot in the wrecks. You also recover a prisoner from one of the cargo holds. Talk to him. The man thanks you profusely, profusely for help in freeing him. I don't know who you are, but you have my sincere gratitude. My name's Barry. Hey, Barry. Why did they capture you? I used to work for those Torvac. They quit because of their moral impractices. Evidently, leaving them is something they frown upon. I tried hiding in Shanty Sands, but evidently they found me. We need a compression coil. 
Ah, compression coil. Yeah, I worked on those things back in the Torvac days. I'm afraid the only way you'd be able to get your hands on one of those is to assault the compression coil facility and take it from their grubby cybernetic fingers. Where can I find a facility like that? I know the locations of the one of those facilities. I'll be happy to add those coordinates to your map as soon as you return me to Shanty Sands. I've had enough of combat for quite some time. All right, we'll bring you back. Okay, bring me back, and I'll give you the coordinates to the compression. Whatevs. I'm too nice of a guy, maybe. I don't know. It's not that far away. Uh-oh. Ah. Whilst driving through the blistering sands, you spot a lone Torvac vehicle driving in the distance. Yes, we're going to take him. One guy. Easy pickings indeed. You blast the lone vehicle to smithereens without putting up a resistance. You manage to acquire a 66 scrap and 7 fuel from the wreck. Aw, uh, yeah. You return to Shetty Sands and drop Barry off at his home. What about those cords? Barry's entered the coordinates in your compression coil facility to your map. Assault that facility and you should be able to find a compression coil. If you don't manage to find a functioning one, look for cargo crates marked with an orange and black helix shaped system. Symbol. That's right. Cargo crates. I'm all about this. I'll be able to construct a functioning one for you with those materials. Thanks, brother! Cool. So that's 217 down. I kind of want to go back and uh, turn in the self-sealing stem bolts deal. That's kind of a long ways away. Treasure hunting. Oh, we could treasure hunt too. Let's go back do the, the stem bolts because that's kind of on the, the lone side of the map by itself. And there is a camp over here we can dink around in. Hi, I forgot. Around the mountains. Uh-oh. Oh. As you drive around the highway, your radio suddenly picks up. Fools, right for the picking. Have at them, boys. Prepare to engage. Aw, oh, we're engaged. That's so cute. Mine or something. Oh, that thing right in front of us. Let's pop in a mine right next to that thing. I totally did that wrong. Okay, I want to engage you. You. Okay. Oh wow, they totally dodged that thing. All right, dude, dude, McFace, dude is getting space blowed up. Let's get away from the side of him. Kind of come in the back. That this guy right here is being so dumb. He's driving into all the junk. We're like this. We're gonna blow. Oh, if we trap. Him. I know they can get blown up by their buddies. Okay, two are down. Great. Let's drop a mine on you. Thank you. I'm gonna crawl you in. I still haven't hit a mine in this game, have I? I wanna back you off a little bit. Back you off. Actually, I should try to get you away a little bit. Will you get away? No, you won't. Okay, it's gonna damage our guy a little bit. That's okay. Perfect. Oh, nice, we got light pulse laser. Find some loot in the Rex. Take the loot, thank you. Open the map. Yeah, boy. Okay, we were... Oh, that's a camp, isn't it? That's where the Serenity is at. Or the, whatever, the Mercury. Oh, forgot. A lone radio signal appears originating from a lone radar vehicle stood by the road. Investigate it. Yeah. It would appear that the lone radar vehicle has run out of fuel, which explains why it is stranded on the side of the road. Talk to the radar. Give me your, give me your fuel. I'll make it worth your while. Very well. Thank you, bub. Let me go fire it up here. Raider starts revving his engine. Before you know it, he speeds off. Well, we're chasing him. Oh, never mind. We don't get played by the redneck in a Jeep. Okay. I like driving on this road. Oh, oh, oh. This is this is it, right? Oh, we gotta go up. Up to the mountain. Back to the stem search. Stem coil ceiling bolt thing. <laughs> you arrive at the Eiffel, Eiffel's Incorporated office and are told you were expected. Once again, you are led up to the meeting room where Samuel and Maxwell are waiting for you. Privateers are dead. Yes, we heard of your exploits. Marvelous. I trust they weren't too much trouble for one such as yourself. Naturally, we shall uphold our end of the bargain. We are trustworthy businessmen after all. Your stem bolts are being delivered to your convoy as we speak. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure doing the business with you. Goodbye. Before you have a chance to say anything, in return you are led out of the building. 
<laughs> cargo of stem bolts is loaded onto your convoy. They should be more than sufficient for your spaceship. Move out. Yes, so it does go to one. So we're one-tenth of the way complete with the game. One-fourth of the way complete with the game. Uh, let's go to a different camp, maybe. Oh, let's try this thing. Hey, there's a quest there too. You come across a raider slave convoy. They are heavily armored, but appear more interested in continuing their way. Hmm. I don't like slavers. This might be a really bad idea. Okay, oh wow. Um, okay, there's three. That's fine. Attack, we're gonna attack this guy dead. We're gonna throw our, our guy on there. Let's throw this in, because he's kind of trapped right now. Right here. Got him. Got him. Oh, I finally hit one. Awesome. Let's take him out. I'm going to move you over a little bit. So we're going to take you down now. Let's hit this guy. Nice. Did 53 damage to it. Are you... You're no target. Duh. Good. Is he not dead yet? No! Stunned ya. That's what I wanted. Perfect. Ow. Quit it. Man, you're hurting me. We got bad stuff happening. I need to come over one more. Nice. We did it. You find loot. Take loot. All the slaves were killed. Whoops. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh, wait, this thing. We need to see what this thing is. Compression coil. Nope. Nope. Stem bolts. We have treasure hunting. Nope. What's this? Hmm. You arrive shady part of town. Your crew member assures you that... Oh, this is the milk bar. Good. Look around. You come across a tramp stumbling across the street, loudly singing a song about a fair city where the girls are pretty. Oh, take me home. Head over to the tramp. The tramp looks at you fearfully. Well, go on. Do me in. Don't like, don't want to live anyway, stinking world like this. Expend you just looking for the milk bar. What's so stinking about it? World because there's no law and order anymore. It's stinking world because it lets the young get on to the old. Oh, I don't know what that means anymore. Where's the milk bar? Milk bar? That's where Andy and his droogs hang out. Why would anyone in their right mind want to go there is beyond me. But sit yourself. Trans milk bar. Good. We're here. After some time, you find the milk bar where you're looking for a large neon sign. It sits above the entrance depicting a naked woman. The sleazy looking men wearing white jumpsuits and a variety of hats hang around the entrance. We are going to enter the milk bar. Welly, 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 oh well. To what do we owe the extreme pleasure of this surprising visit? Hyperdrive stabilizer. You ask them about the hyperdrive stabilizer. You look at them with questioning eyes, one of them looking particularly dim before they say, Well, it stands to reason that you'll want to speak with Andy. He's inside the milk bar now, sharpening himself up for tonight. I thought we were in the milk bar, aren't we? If you enter the milk bar, I guess we are outside. It has the furniture in the shape of women. It, it looks like milk is served. <laughs> nice. It loads of people of various states of intoxication are draw, sprawled across the floor, and tables, and stools. You are led there by a youthful-looking man with almost cherubic features. Talk to the ma'am. Hi, 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 hi there. Last we met. My name's Andy. My drugs tell me that you lead a big convoy and are need a hyperdrive stabilizers. I can help. Tell me more. It's been a while since we've seen some lashings of the ultra old ultra violence which is where you come in wow if you can provide me with the excitement and joy of combat I'd be happy to give you a hyperdrive stabilizer in return I consider myself somewhat of a law keeper so let's dish out some justice to the three different factions of Omec Prime okay let's do it Leroy Jenkins let's traverse these Wicked wastelands and kills some evil doers. Can't wait to see you in action. Let's go. Andy follows you to the back of to your convoy where he hops on happily and starts entering coordinates to your map. Cool. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. 
I tell you what, this is actually a pretty decent spot to end the episode right here. Uh, we've started some things. I guess that was this. We've got the nearest camp is 78. We're we're in good hands. We already have we already have this one that's complete. So yeah, it's looking good. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.